Hi guys, so today's video is going to be another follow on from my organisational series and in this um, video I'm going to be giving you 8 useful, very very useful, important YouTube hacks slash tips that will really just help your overall channel to just be a success. So when I say success I don't necessarily mean like in numbers wise. I see YouTube success as just being able to fully enjoy your channel, just be proud of your content, be very really consistent and just not like feel overwhelmed and just like YouTube shouldn't feel like a chore so if it's feeling like that for you then either something's going wrong or it's not for you but hopefully these um, tricks and tips that I'm about to give you will really help you out and just overall help the success of your channel which will in conclusion obviously lead to more subscribers and more views and stuff but I'm not this video is not based on how to get like views and stuff so as I say every time if you're not subscribed already then please hit the subscribe button down below so my YouTube hack number one would be to plan ahead and this is the most important I, I find this is the most important like thing you can do because if you're anything like me if I don't plan ahead like you can even plan monthly or weekly or whatever if I don't plan a video I just won't know what to do like I'm reading oops, like I, oh, you can't see that but I'm reading now from my notes but if I didn't have this in I was literally just gonna sit in front of a camera and film unless it's just like a really cheaty chatty video like, I'd just be a mess I'd just be I just wouldn't be on track so I'd really recommend just planning your videos ahead it'll just really help to like avoid any brain fog if you're just having a rough patch and you don't know what to film then just planning a few videos ahead it'll just keep you on track so you know you've always got something to film ahead of time <laughs> if that makes sense but um yes yeah, so I'd re really recommend just like what I did one night because I remember I was just feeling so shit and I just didn't know what to film so I literally sat there got my notepad and just wrote loads of ideas of things I could film and before I knew it I literally had about 20 video ideas on this list so if I am going through them days where I'm having a bit of brain fog and I don't know what to film I can always just go and look at my list and see something there that will just be easy and accessible for me to film so yeah number one would be definitely plan your videos ahead <laughs> My YouTube hack number two would be to take a picture for your thumbnail before you actually film the video. And I know it does sound a bit stupid, and I know you can't use it if you are filming like a makeup look because obviously you won't have the makeup on. But if you're just filming like a video like this or anything of the sort, then I'd recommend just taking your thumbnail before because it'll get to like after the video and you forgot to do a thumbnail or you just can't be bothered to do a thumbnail and then you'll have to use like screenshots from the video and the quality is just shit and then overall it just looks shit. So why are you still like fresh and buzzing about your video? I just really recommend just um, taking a picture of your thumbnail then and there because after your video you just be tired and you can't be asked. Well, I know I can't, I don't know if you guys are the same. So my tip number three would be to always have at least one video edited and uploaded and ready to post on YouTube. So I'd always recommend just having one video just ready to go, just privated. So if, if it comes to a time where like you can't be bothered to film or if something comes up or if you're away or if just like life is so unpredictable, anything can happen. So if you know that you can't get a video up, um, at least you've just got one there ready to go. So yeah, you won't be missing an upload by doing that. So my hack number four would be to clear space so wherever you film your videos whether it be your bedroom your living room wherever it is just make sure that area is clear because if it's a hot mess like you're just not going to be able to function you're not going to want to film you're just going to be looking at your area just side eyeing it like i can't even be bothered but if that space is neat ready to go like all your equipment's out ready for you you'll just be a hundred times more likely to want to film that day so yeah i just recommend like before and after you film the video just clear out that space and make sure it's all nice and neat and ready to go for the next time that you're ready to film my tip number five would be to edit your videos or do whatever YouTube related stuff that you have to do at your desk or if you don't have a desk just do it like downstairs or just somewhere where you're not in your bed basically like, even though I do edit in my bed quite a lot I'm, I'm trying to stop doing that you just find like your mind wonders you end up on your phone you see a video that you want to watch on YouTube or just anything can happen but if you literally sat at your desk it kind of feels more like work so you feel like you have to do it whereas if you're just in your bed like you could just turn on the film at any time you can go on Netflix you can do whatever you want and I know you can still do that at your desk but you're just less likely to do it if you're just in a space that's less comfortable than your bed so I really just recommend try cut out editing in your bed as much as you can <laughs> So my hack number six, which again I think is really, really useful, is to find music for your video before you actually film the video. So by doing this, it'll just help you to kind of create like a vibe and a feel for how you want the video to be. That way when it does come to filming, you kind of know what you want in to like add in there and you know how you want it to feel because you know the music. So like, for an example, if you're filming, like if I've just filmed this makeup look, if I know what song I'm wanting to film, I know how to like do my poses, I know like it just makes it go a lot more smoother because you'll know 
the vibe you want in and I think it'll be really good for like lookbook kind of videos so you can know like the location you want it to film and the kind of style you want it to be so yeah I'd really recommend finding music for this and it's just really annoying to find mu uh, music on YouTube so if you've already found a song that's like ready to go you'll just find the editing process a lot more smoother because you won't be editing it and then at the end having to find a bit, um, song to go with it and it just it's just stress that doesn't need to be there so yeah just try to find your music before you actually film the video and yeah it'll just be great <laughs> So my hack number seven would be to make templates that like are your brand. So say on my video you can see my um, social media is just like at the top either here or here but yeah you can see my social media so that's like pre-made so that's ready to go on every video I make. I'd recommend pre-making like your end cap, your intro, everything like that I'd just recommend saving it as a template so when it comes to making your video you can literally just slide all them in there and it's just done you don't have to worry about it after that also in terms of template like when you go onto actual YouTube so say in your description box and things like that I'd recommend on YouTube on your YouTube settings you can actually set a template so for every video you upload it'll um, say the same thing so in mine I've just got like my social medias um, just like subscribe for weekly videos just things like that you just want to make a template just to make um, life easier as well but before I was doing that I literally had to go on back onto my old video and copy and paste it and then paste it into that but now it's just automatically there for me so it just makes life a lot easier once again so yeah I just recommend just making templates or anything that like reoccurs in all your videos that is the same just save it so you can just literally just throw it in your new videos and you're done and my hack number eight <laughs> Eight. which is my final hack is to on your computer or laptop or whatever you use just make folders for every um, video you make so you can literally throw everything in that folder so all the like raw footage you can put in that folder any templates any titles anything like that you can just throw it all in the same folder and then once you've completed the video and uploaded it to youtube you can literally just delete the folder it makes it a lot easier because before i used to save things all over the place like i'd have pic monkey saves here i'd have that there and everything was just a mess so now i just keep everything in the same folder so when it comes to deleting it to make space i can literally just delete and it's all gone yeah that was my final tip hope you guys found these tips useful there are just a few of the things that you could do to um, just make life on YouTube a lot easier. There is loads more tips that I could think of but I think them eight are just like the main ones just to get your videos like consistent and just to get on track and things like that. So yeah that comes to the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you are liking this kind of organisational series that I have set up. I'm enjoying doing it to be honest. But yeah let me know what you guys think of um, this series and yeah if you want any more life hacks anything like that then just let me know and I'll film that for you. So yeah if you didn't manage to subscribe to my video at the start of the video then I'm going to ask you again if you can do it now. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Hi guys, today is going to be part 3 of my organisational series so in this video I'm going to be organising my clothes. So if you'd like to see how I nice and simple and then moving on to the top drawer I just like to throw all the clothes out onto my bed. I've managed to get rid of everything that I'm not going to wear out of there. So ideally I like to repeat this process every 